Hi, this is John from the Center for Integrated Agricultural Systems at the University of Wisconsin. I'm here to walk you through a nifty tool to estimate the total cost of hiring employees or interns on your farm, including payroll taxes and any benefits you may offer. This tool is one of several resources developed to help farmers make good decisions about labor from hiring to training to ongoing management. The tool is located on the Farm Labor Dashboard, hosted by the University of Vermont. This video features the web version of the tool, but will also include some information about the downloadable Excel version. Regardless of whether you use the web version or the downloadable version, the information you put into the estimator is not being saved or reviewed by anyone at the University of Vermont or elsewhere. Let's get started with the tool. Required inputs are designated by a red asterisk. The first thing, which is optional, is to name your report. Next, you need to decide on a job title, such as field crew member or pack shed manager. The next section of the tool has two parts, hours and wages and benefits. The hours tab is where you estimate the number of hours the person in this position will work by month. Next, click on wages and benefits to specify the hourly wage and any additional benefits. The benefits section gives you places to specify actual cash outlays or places to estimate the value of non-cash benefits, such as room and board or produce. Be sure to click on both tabs in this section to input all required information. There is then a button to add additional employees if you plan to hire more people for the same position or you plan to hire for different positions. When you click this button, it adds a whole new section to be filled out. The final section of the form is to confirm or modify the rates for various expenses associated with having employees. This includes federal insurance contributions, or FICA, which includes both Social Security and Medicare contributions, federal unemployment tax, or FUDA, state unemployment tax, SUDA, and if applicable, the cost of workers' compensation insurance. FICA and FUDA are the same for everyone, regardless of where you live but they can change over time, so you may want to confirm these by looking them up online. Your state unemployment tax rate should be relatively easy to find online or by contacting your state government or visiting their website. There may be specific state unemployment tax rules or rates in your state for farm businesses. You'll also need to contact your state government office or visit their website to learn about your state's unemployment compensation regulations to determine first if you will be required to pay workers' compensation, and second, the cost. Workers' compensation program rules and costs vary significantly from state to state. As a farm business, depending on your state, you may or may not be required to enroll in a workers' compensation insurance program. Even if you are not required to pay into your state's workers' compensation program, some form of insurance is a recommended best practice for any business especially a farm business where over time workplace injuries are likely to occur. If your state does not require you to pay into the state workers' compensation program, you may still choose to do so or investigate the cost of private insurance to cover yourself in the event of employees being injured on the job. Fair warning, getting rock solid information on the precise cost of a workers' compensation program may be challenging. Rates are different based on what type of business you run, as well as any history of workplace injuries. For this tool, we've asked you to input a percentage similar to the FICA, FUDA, and SUDA unemployment tax rates. In reality, workers' compensation is usually a more complicated formula, but it can be expressed as a percentage. And for our purposes in this estimator, it is not necessary to get down to the exact dollars and cents. Settling on a percentage may require some homework, including reaching out to similar farmers to get a sense of their cost for a workers' compensation plan. If you are not required to and do not choose to voluntarily enroll in a workers' compensation program, zero is an acceptable entry into this required cell. When you finish with that, you're complete and you can click Submit. The results are then displayed. You can save a copy of the report as a PDF here. What you will save is exactly what is displayed below. There's first a summary chart of the hours for this employee position. 
Next is a summary of the costs, including wages, benefits, and payroll taxes. Finally, you have the total cost of the employee, as well as an actual full labor cost per hour for this position. In this example here, we've put in the same hours for two different crew members, but we've decided they're going to earn different pay rates, or we're curious to see what the impact will be of different pay rates for this type of position. One is at 12.75 an hour, and the other is at 10.75 an hour. And you can see what the total cost will be for the whole year as well as the total labor cost per hour. Going back to the top, there are buttons to either start a new report with a blank form or to copy this report and make some adjustments. This is useful if you want to develop some comparisons based on different amounts of hours or wages or benefit packages, but don't want to go back and enter all the same information in terms of hours or the wages. A quick word about the Excel version of this tool. The downloadable Excel version includes an additional report which gives you month by month and quarterly summaries, which can be very helpful if you're developing a cash flow budget so that you can be sure to have funds on hand to pay your employees as you go through the year, in addition to those quarterly payments for federal and state unemployment tax. We hope you find the tool useful and we hope to see you at the Farm Labor Dashboard as we develop more tools and resources. Thank you.